We're at the Empire Hotel, home to Gossip Girl, and today is all about hope. And the charity is Hope North. And it's supported by some of my favorite stars, Susan Sarandon, Forrest Whitaker, and Mary Louise Parker of Weeds. And she'll be sitting down with us today with the founder of Hope North, Okello Sam. This is an inspiring story you're not gonna wanna miss. Mary Louise, I have to ask. <laughs> You've had an incredibly acclaimed career, awards, movies, theater, you're great on the stage, and yet you've never really got into the tight dresses and the going out in the Hollywood scene. How do you yeah. get that great career? Not the tight dresses, but not at the Hollywood <laughs> theater. <laughs> no, private life. Um, I don't know, I was never really, uh, I'm not like a really social animal, really. Um, and I think I became an actress because I was a really, it was part of a function of being a really shy child and it was a way that I could speak to people in a way that I could communicate that was easier for me, that felt good and just felt natural. So I think some actors are like that. I've known some actors who are not as like, social or, and they're just more comfortable on stage. Well, that's, I noticed it the other night, it was so funny, and I feel your pain in asking for money, but it was so interesting. Here's someone who's brilliant on stage, and then with a small group of 25, 30 people, which you knew a lot of people in the room, <laughs> you were looking at the floor when you spoke about the organization. You were so passionate, but you like had to look down. If I want to get the words out, I have to look at the ground, because, um, yeah, it's hard for me to address a group of people sometimes just as myself. You've been able to use your career now to follow the things that really seem to interest your heart, your passions. I was thinking the other day, like there's really no point in having money or having any sort of notoriety whatsoever if you can't like rush in and try to help fix something at some moment. And you know, what comes along with it is a lot of people are deeply suspicious of you or cynical about it, but it doesn't matter to me if it leads to something, if it leads to somebody getting financial support or a cause yeah. getting attention. I don't care if people sort of make fun of me a little bit as long <laughs> as I don't have to hear it. You did something extraordinary. You, you have a son, but you adopted a little girl on your own from Ethiopia. She's a lot to live up to, my daughter. <laughs> she's really, she's incredible and I didn't suspect that I would be single. It's not something that you predict and I didn't know if it would be too hard and then I thought, well, I can't not do it because it's going to be too hard. And, and it is too hard sometimes, but there's no way I could have not done it. I wouldn't, my life wouldn't be the same. My son's life wouldn't be the same. Well, you've had a big adoption recently. Okello and, yes. <laughs> and about 250 children yes. in Uganda. And you're, you're a bit of a star in Uganda as well, huh? Yeah, I, I have a dance company which uh, has about 35 artists. And so we perform every week. Um, I also have a television program, which is a, basically a stand-up comedy. My friend Susan Sarandon had already become involved with, with him, and uh, we together put on a benefit last year at her, um, her ping pong club. And it was, it was a lot of fun and we did, you know, we helped raise some money for the school and, and I just sort of became really passionate about um, what he's doing and the work he's doing and him as a person. Tell us about the work that you're doing at Hope North. Uh, Hope North is, a, is a, a secondary school and a vocational center which supports uh, 250 former child soldiers and vulnerable children. And so we give them full scholarship, free education, and Hope North is their home. And most of the children don't have families. Their families have been killed or annihilated by the rebels. Yeah, by, by the Lord's Resistance Army. Their families have either been destroyed, their parents killed, or some of these kids were born in the rebellion. And then in the process, they don't know who their parents are. And then they come to us at Hope North, and we create a home for them. And Forrest Whitaker is very involved in, in Hope North. How did he become involved with it? We worked with Forrest in The Last King of Scotland, and uh, the, the, I did the choreography for the first part of the dance. And also the dancers were students from Hope North. These were basically former child soldiers. When we were doing it, Forrest didn't know. He's a very inquisitive person. So he kept on asking, you know, 
where they were coming from and when he learned that they had such a, a challenging and terrible history, he got very interested in them. And I feel very blessed and I think the children are very blessed by the fact that, you know, they have people like Forrest Whitaker supporting them, Susan Sarandon, and of course, Mary Louise <laughs> Arms. I, I don't know what, I don't know what to do with that.